Hello and welcome to another Two Minutes Tuesday technical training. Let's get started. Shown is a simple schematic of modern protein therapeutic production processes. Today, we will provide an overview for establishing a risk mitigation plan for biologics manufacturing. The regulatory authorities and the biopharma industry collaborated to move drug development towards a quality by design approach which is intended to identify and protect all critical quality attributes of the product throughout the manufacturing process. This QBD paradigm is communicated in these ICH guidelines. One key element encompassed in ICH Q9 is risk management. Assessment of risk starts in early product development. It is a science-based approach that's linked to patient safety. It involves all functional areas in the organization, not just quality. Each risks action plan is assessed on a case-by-case -case basis. The guidance documents are clear that simply testing for safety to ensure product integrity and patient safety at the various stages of production is not a sufficient risk control strategy. A risk mitigation plan must span all elements of the bioproduction process, including facilities and equipment. Facilities and equipment used for manufacturing are of utmost consideration. Risk management starts with determining if reusable or single-use operations and open or closed systems will be utilized. Facility plans should include all utilities and equipment that impact or come in contact with the product. For example, a control strategy should include a sterilization management and validation plan sanitizer efficacy studies for all suites and equipment, as well as container, closure, and package integrity evaluations are expected, as are plans to evaluate extractables and leachables from process contact surfaces. Materials management is paramount. Due diligence of where and how all raw materials are procured and prepared is necessary. Shipping evaluation studies need to be considered. Mammalian cell culture has the added risk of propagating adventitious agents, including virus, and these contaminants can come from any material. See our other videos on viral safety control strategies. Establishing well-qualified or validated in-process lot release and stability testing control strategies, especially for biosafety purposes, are critical as is the ability to reliably determine the levels of process contaminants throughout manufacturing and in final drug product. Process validation studies demonstrating removal of process-related impurities are required prior to market approval. Moving to more effective yet validatable testing strategies is another consideration as our continuous improvement and use of state-of-the-art techniques is essential to QBD. Thank you for listening. And for more information on this and other bioprocessing topics, including expert interviews, please go to our Two Minutes Tuesday archive. Have a great day.